Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 What are the Kuril Islands Northern Territories? 1 These are a set of four islands situated between the Sea of Okhotsk and the Pacific Ocean. To both Moscow and Tokyo claim sovereignty over them though the islands have been under Russian control since the end of World War II. 3. Situated near the north of Japan's northernmost prefecture, Kyushu. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is B. These are a set of four islands situated between the Sea of Okhotsk and the Pacific Ocean near the north of Japan's northernmost prefecture, Hokkaido. Both Moscow and Tokyo claim sovereignty over them though the islands have been under Russian control since the end of World War II. The Soviet Union had seized the islands at the end of World War II and by 1949 had expelled its Japanese residents. Tokyo claims that the disputed islands have been part of Japan since the early 19th century. Question to what is the difference between money bills and financial bills? One Article 109 defines a money bill as one containing provisions dealing with taxes, regulation of the government's borrowing of money, and expenditure or receipt of money from the Consolidated Fund of India. 2. A M major difference between money and financial bills is that while the former has the provision of including the Rajya Sabhas, upper house, recommendations, the latter does not make their inclusion mandatory. 3. The two prerequisites for any financial bill to become a money bill are that first, it must only be introduced in the Lok Sabha and not the Rajya Sabha and secondly, these bills can only be introduced on the President's recommendation. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is A. Article 110 defines a money bill as one containing provisions dealing with taxes, regulation of the government's borrowing of money, and expenditure or receipt of money from the Consolidated Fund of India, among others, whereas Article 109 delineates the procedure for the passage of such a bill and confers an overriding authority on the Lok Sabha in the passage of money bills. A major difference between money and financial bills is that while the latter has the provision of including the Rajya Sabhas, Upper House, Recommendations, the former does not make their inclusion mandatory. The Lok Sabha has the right to reject the Rajya Sabha's recommendations when it comes to money bills. What differentiates a money bill from any ordinary bill or financial bill is that while an ordinary bill can originate in either house, a money bill can only be introduced in the Lok Sabha as laid down in Article 117. 1. Additionally, no one can introduce or move money bills in the Lok Sabha except on the President's recommendation. Amendments relating to the reduction or abolition of any tax are exempt from the requirement of the President's recommendation. Amendments relating to the reduction or abolition of any tax are exempt from the requirement of the President's recommendation. The two prerequisites for any financial bill to become a money bill are that first, it must only be introduced in the Lok Sabha and not the Rajya Sabha. Secondly, these bills can only be introduced on the President's recommendation. Question 3 with reference to chromodomain helicase DNA binding protein 1 like CHD1L gene, consider the following statements. 1. This contains information to make proteins that allow the body to repair DNA damage. 2. A variant of the CHD1L gene, specifically present in the Caribbean population, has been linked to the reduced viral load, amount of HIV in the blood, of the most common and virulent type of HIV. Which of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1. B. Only 2. 
C. Both. D. None. Answer is A. A variant of the CHD1L gene, specifically present in the African population, has been linked to the reduced viral load, amount of HIV in the blood, of the most common and virulent type of HIV, called HIV-1, more common and severe retrovirus compared to HIV-2. Question 4. Consider the following statements about Einstein cross. 1. This is a gravitationally lensed quasar that sits directly behind the center of the galaxy, called Huchra's lens. 2. 4 images of the same distant quasar, plus 1 in the center, to dim to see, appear in the middle of the foreground galaxy due to strong gravitational lensing. 3. This system was discovered by John Huchra and co-workers in 1985. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is C. This system was discovered by John Huchra and co-workers in 1985, although at the time they only detected that there was a coercer behind a galaxy based on differing redshifts and did not resolve the four separate images of the coercer. Question 5. With reference to Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center in space, consider the following statements. 1. It is a single-window autonomous agency under the Department of Space of the Government of India. 2. It is formed following the space sector reforms to enable and facilitate the participation of private players. 3. In space is an autonomous body with its own board with all members from the ISRO and chairperson. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is B. In space is an autonomous body with its own board, with some members from the private sector and industry and chairperson. Question 6. Consider the following statements about Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana, Uday. 1. It is the financial turnaround and revival package for electricity distribution companies of India, DISCOMs, initiated by the Government of India with the intent to find a permanent solution to the financial mess that the power distribution is in. 2. It allows state governments, which own the DISCOMs, to take over 50% of their debt as of and pay back lenders by selling bonds. 3. Rajasthan became the first state to come under Uday scheme. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is A. It allows state governments, which own the DISCOMs, to take over 75% of their debt as of 30th September 2015 and pay back lenders by selling bonds. DISCONs are expected to issue bonds for the remaining 25% of their debt. Jharkhand became the first state to come under Uday scheme. The scheme is optional for the states to join. Question 7. Consider the following statements. 1. There is no codified list of the exact privileges, but it includes the right of free expression in the course of parliamentary debates and members of parliament will not be liable for court proceedings for this. 2. Privileges committee consisting of 10 members. 3. The right to raise a question of privilege is based on satisfying two conditions, namely, I the question shall be restricted to a specific matter of recent occurrence and 2. The matter requires the intervention of the council. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is C. Question 8. Consider the following statements about Anusandhan National Research Foundation Bill 2023. One proposals cover creation of the National Research Foundation, NRF, 
an apex entity to provide high-level strategic direction of scientific research in the nation in accordance with the National Education Policy NEP, guidelines. To it will cater to the vast amount of skilled human resources of the country who otherwise seek opportunities outside the country. 3. It will act as a significant element in strengthening India's competitiveness in the global economy. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is C. Proposals cover creation of the National Research Foundation, NRF, an apex entity to provide high-level strategic direction of scientific research in the nation in accordance with the National Education Policy, NEP, guidelines at an anticipated total cost of 50,000 crores rupees over five years, 2023 to 28. The NRF will be administered by the Department of Science and Technology and a regulatory board consisting of prominent experts from across various disciplines. Given the widespread substance of this program, the Prime Minister and the Union Minister of Education will also be actively involved. The foundation will establish collaborations between business, academia, government agencies and research institutions and will dig into the financial resources of the private sector to ensure a financially viable research ecosystem. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.